That's why I like the South so much. If you're in the South, you ain't in the North. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know what they you know what Shit. they say that they they say you know you know duck hunting is for the girls and hunting geese are for the boys. And the geese is for the boys. That's you're what gosh the, darn right. Yeah, mm-hmm. because uh, ain't no ain't no shitting you. Oh, there's nothing getting past me. Nothing. Not one thing. Especially not a goose. Oh, hell no. Never not a goose. You ain't never missed Mm-mm. a goose. Would you ever go? You never would hunt, would you? You're not a big hunter or idea of hunting. No, I think they, I think my uncle wanted us to go one time. We used to shoot birds at my grandparents' house. I think I've told you this story before. And we'd have like little BB guns or whatever and just shoot at them that were like just uh, sitting on the, the, power line Mm -hmm. easy target really really shitty stuff for a kid to do uh and then i killed one we fed it to the barn cats and i cried myself to sleep that night did you really i did it was very uh traumatic what mean it what because why you watched it like get ripped apart i just felt bad that i killed it Mm -hmm. for no reason that's fair i didn't eat it it was like a robin people eat robins (laughs) there's not much meat on them but I, I think they're full of disease. I'm sure they're full Probably. of disease. Yeah, those cats died instantly, so <laughs> I imagine. Did they really? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's why that's why I felt bad. The cats died. No, I just felt bad. Okay. I was like ten. I was like, uh, I'm not gonna do this anymore. My dad was like, Okay, that's cool. As long as that gets done somewhere yeah. and it's it can all get synced up. Cause did, your, I, did your dad ever try to do like pulls like macho shit? Macho man shit. No, my, my dad. Either. My dad was never like that. Yeah. He was like, I'm. I provide. Yeah, that's my macho that's man shit. That's he never like talked to you about like what you were doing as if it wasn't like manly. Oh yeah. So really? there was one time I was going. To, I was going to go to a concert, mm-hmm. and I w- I blacked out my nails, and he saw oh, it. Oh really? Yeah, and he's <laughs> like, No, you're not doing that. I will. In the mid two thousands, that was a little. Taboo. That was acceptable. Yeah. yeah, that was acceptable back then for a teenager. I know, but it was acceptable for a dad to be romance. that angry about yeah, it. Absolutely. <laughs> I never did. I never did any any of the like stereotypical emo stuff. I wasn't into that. But they didn't like. I didn't tell my parents anything about me anyway. Mm. So like any anything I liked, like they were. I played Nintendo games a lot. They probably thought that was a little fishy. Like I played Sonic all the time. I wonder. I don't know if they gave a shit about that. Probably not. But my yeah, my dad was never like a tough guy, which I yeah. respected. Neither Maybe was. probably just because he's a coward. <laughs> you know, he's a pussy. I don't know. There's a there's a fine in between that he probably found. Talk real quick. Um. So, the the um the southern accents we were doing earlier were uh our ancestors. Your ancestors. My ancestors. John played one of my ancestors. Yeah. Um, I believe his name was Keith. 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 Uh, Keith, Keith. Rabin. Uh, no. Rapin. Rabino. Rabino. Keith Rabino from the French, from France. He was from France, and then <laughs> yeah. what? He lived in like Louisiana. Le- yeah, he was a Cajun. He was a Creole man. He liked to uh, c- catch craw crawdads and then eat them raw. Didn't even bother going to the boil. I, you can do that, right, with oh, those? Well, you can do whatever the fuck you want with a, anything. <laughs> well, that's true, I guess. <laughs> Rules are made up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, true. Yeah, I think it's fun to um, do southern accents sometimes. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. I've been to the south a lot in the past few years. Um, do you like it there? I do. It's nice. Uh, but it's such an... And most of the time, they're pretty cool about it. I don't do it in front of them, but I imagine if I walked in, if I went to like a, like some rural part of Georgia or something and went talking like that, they would just be like, all right, whatever. Mm. He's just a guy. He's just a dude. That, I'm really giving my accent credit. I don't know if it's that good. I think it's amazing. Thank you. You heard it here first, folks. That's what's so funny. Like, I'm a talent. Aaron, I was like, last night, you and I and uh, Dayton, mm-hmm. were, uh, we were doing a little thing after we get done doing your podcast. I was just telling you to like, Hey, can you just say this one thing? And then just, I'm going to just record it. And then like, just say like, you know, swipe up or, you know, the yeah. and then like, it was so funny was that you were like, mm, I'm going to say something completely different, <laughs> but close. I get what you're trying to get at. And it was like, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Rip that makes it me want to work with you so much more. It's fun to not have anything bothering you in your head to where you can just like, 
I don't know how to describe it to me, but like for me, but I feel like it's it's either when I just stop caring about whatever's going on mm-hmm. and then just see what this does, or it's whenever I'm like carefree, which okay. I guess is the same thing, but like when I'm not like stressed out about something. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, when you said that, I was like, all right, well, I'm there's no direction here really, mm-hmm. so I'm just gonna do what I want. Very true. I, I just like wanted it, you to just basically just say yeah. something, like, but yeah, and then it made me like, I'm like, oh shit, okay, Aaron would be really fun to work with because he's just so fun. He'd be the most fun. That's why I like, uh, um, I don't do improv because um, I don't. You're better be than that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> There's a lot of decent improv people, but and funny, you know, improv comics. Um, but uh, it feels so weird to just go and do something and then that's the only time you're going to ever do it or say it. Oh, okay. You know, and that's not necessarily the truth about everything. Cause I, it's not like when, when I'm riffing on stage or something, I'll remember the riff. Mm-hmm. I have I rarely tape it. And if I do, I don't listen to it. I just delete it. To, like I keep the time. That's the only reason I have it, but I'll remember it. Uh, but yeah, it just seems like kind of a waste of, like a good thing that you did and i don't want to waste stuff like that makes sense i've been doing some of the same either. huh is it broke sometimes i think that these earphones might be busted oh, i haven't been able to hear anybody in any earphones here for months <laughs> so i just figured it's fine <laughs> no it's fine because we all like mm-hmm. i the thing it's is that the I use, when i use these yeah i can hear all, i can hear you all i can hear both of you uh-huh. fine and that's when the only one that mattered. Like, yeah. But then I just tried doing it with that one and it didn't work. So I don't know why <laughs> these ones cool. I can, but I can't with other ones. Broke. That's what I'm thinking that I these know. ones, because like with those that I do about with my own, hear you fine. Mm-hmm. Fine. I can hear myself fine. Weird. But this, I don't know. Yeah, I can't hear you. Yeah. Anyway. Whatever. I so like we're here. It. It's, it's for effect. I mean, this I guess. All all, none of this is real. Yeah, this is all fake, guys. Yeah. You know, this is all like just a. Uh, the can The mic is hanging up off the wall. Mm-hmm. You, I, it's out of out of camera sight. One of the one things I did realize though last night, I do need to get invest into a shotgun mic. <laughs> one of these like you know those, like long ones, mm-hmm. those long skinny. Yeah, yeah. So we can I can hang it up and be, be able cool. to do more audio stuff. Do it. Because these ones you can't have in every shot to have good audio. That's true. And we've gotten, I've gotten kind of spoiled with having good audio. Yeah. Because go get you know, a go get a shotgun. I know they're not that expensive; they're like a hundred bucks. Shotgun mic. Shotgun mic. That's a, who is that? Uh, <laughs> a white wedding. Billy Idol. Yes. He got Billie it. Billy Eilish. That's somebody relevant. Mm-hmm. Billy Eilish, all of yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. Kinda. All right. Cool. And uh, so. Uh, Let's watch a video. Oh, you want to watch a video? Yeah. Okay. Um, 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 um. Blah, 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 blah. Say what's up, Facebook. Say what's up, Facebook. Say what's up, Facebook. <laughs> See, you have a deer. <laughs> Caught you by shit, man. <laughs> what? Say what's up. <laughs> Say what's up, Facebook. What do you want the deer to do? <laughs> uh-uh. That's what the deer is going to do. Hey. Stop all that falling out. It's like a little toddler. Acting like a little baby. Falling out. <laughs> Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen. Boys, 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 boys. This is the Air Air Jump Show. With your host, Air 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 I do like the idea of people owning pets that um, society knows they shouldn't have. Yes. My question <laughs> to you is, like, have you ever, because you lived more in, like, a little, in the area you lived in had, like, more wood woods in your mm, backyard. Yeah. Did you guys have any weird rabbits or any weird animals growing Dude, up? No, I mean, not really. There's always deer and turkey. There's been a family of hawks that have lived uh, in a tree. Really? For, what feels like five or six years now because my they always show up whenever I'm down there. Hmm. They're just like they know you there. Yeah. Aaron, <laughs> <gasps> he's back. <laughs> um, we've <laughs> there 
we saw a big ass black snake one time, huge, like in our front yard, mm-hmm. which my cat uh was like, I'm gonna go fuck with that and then I was like, No, you're not, you stupid asshole and then she didn't. Mm-hmm. Which is good. Uh then she died. Anyway. <laughs> What's funny, I went to my parents' house on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. She's in hell. My <laughs> we went to my parents' house on Sunday, my nephew was there and he's like six. Okay. He's a little harmless, innocent child. And he was like, Uncle A, I want to show you something. Uncle A? Yeah, they call me Uncle A. Aaron's hard to say for kids who don't know what ours do. Um Two A's is also confusing. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they just call me Ron. Uh, he was like, come down, come here, come look at the creek. And I thought, like, usually it's just like him throwing a rock at something or showing me the actual water in the creek. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, it was a fucking <laughs> a deer carcass. <laughs> just He was like, a coyote killed it. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I coyote killed it. <laughs> He's insane. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. My he's God. he's seen a lot of the, he his favorite animal is possums and he saw a big ass possum the other day. Uh, Why would that was, be your favorite animal? Kids are weird, man. I don't know. <laughs> possums are ugly as hell, and he sees the endearing qualities of them, like on for who they truly are. Okay. I think that's gonna be a good thing for him. Hopefully, <laughs> he won't be a superficial asshole. Hopefully not. Like the rest of his family, present company included. Uh, but. He 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 talks about deer all the time. How he saw a deer. He always points out a dead deer on the road, though, too, which is pretty fucking weird. He's like, that one got hit by a truck. <laughs> he's he like the rain. Trucks. He's like the rain man of, of deer, uh, yeah, of like just understanding of the murdered the animals, murdered animals yeah. which is good to have the a, CSI of dead animals. I, well, like they know what death is, because you know, good, great, uh, but <laughs> when they want to point it out all the time, it's a little morbid. And he loves trucks, so whenever he sees a deer, he's Pretty like, true. that deer got hit by a Dodge Ram F- or F-350 or or whatever. And I'm like, hmm, what are you talking about? <laughs> How do you know the <laughs> specifics of a- He knows everything about cars, dude. Really? Yeah. My dad, like, he was really interested in it at a pretty young age, like okay. that and farming, because my dad used to be a farmer. Okay. And he'd hang out with my dad, all like, a lot. Um, Where'd your dad used to farm? At my grandparents in Farley. I didn't, what, what though? Oh, like corn and soy. Beans. Okay, I didn't know yeah, that. I don't yeah. know. Why, why they did, did that for years, but that he was, was before, also working was at the airport. The airport? Okay. Yeah, I'm like, because I really knew your dad working at the airport. I think he quit farming in like 96 or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We were young. But yeah, my grandparents always farmed. They used to farm like what the airport used to be. Mm-hmm. Farmland. Um, good American fun. Good American fun. Uh, but yeah, my nephew... Uh, Loves farming. He's going to be a farmer. Bless the boy, uh, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard thing to do. He wants to have a combine, a big fucking like tractor, big ass truck. He knows every little thing, diesels, hemis, all this shit that I didn't know until I was like 25 because I was afraid I'd get hit by a car and not know what make and model it was. So then I had to figure it out. <laughs> That's not true. I just learned. Okay. but. That is a funny idea. <laughs> that is. <laughs> yeah, he's a little freak. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. nice. Um, oh, we were wa- we were in my uncle's house. That like, Gavin used to live with my at my uncle's house. How's Gavin? How was he? He's just Thanksgiving? now gotten out of jail again. again? <laughs> yeah. What do you do this time? Identity theft of my uncle. Um, but my uncle basically they turned that house into a fucking flop house. It looks like shit. It's all torn up. And uh, but my uncle's stuff, a lot of his stuff, already is still there. They were there for like seven or eight months, okay. almost a year, I guess. But, um, but yeah, they, they don't know what the fuck they're doing with the, their own house. Anyway, so my uh, my dad, my nephew, and me go into my uncle's house because he's gonna sell it, and he's trying to get. I guess he's trying to get rid of stuff, but I don't think my nephew knew this. But anyway, my nephew's just like walking around, picking stuff up and putting it in his pockets. <laughs> he like my uncle's got a bunch of old baseball cards from the eighties. Like one a bunch of them are still in the pack. And they're probably worth something. Uh, and he just like grabbed a whole like fifty pack of cards and put it in his pocket <laughs> without saying anything. I was like, "This is cool as hell. <laughs> this is <gets> dope." <laughs> There's like a rookie King Griffey Junior card in there. But really? Yeah. So hopefully that's worth anything at all. It's hopefully like he needs, he needs to put those in sleeves and keep them. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to sell them for my uncle. I think I gotta get a hold of him. I have a Pullman. Oh, so much. Really? So many cards. From like the 80s and the 90s? Yeah, that's most of them. I think he may have some 60s and 70s, but yeah. 
I think I have a I I know I have an, a Hank Aaron rookie really? card. That's yeah. from like the fifties. Yeah, that's, that's like old. the old. That's like the one really big card I do have. Got a bunch that's of in them. a sleeve. Like yeah, I put a bunch of my ones that I thought were good when I was like ten in our old Pokemon card book. Mm. They've been there for ever. Nice. But I don't know. I haven't looked at them in a while. Most of the I I did look at them actually. I looked at like the first few pages. Almost all of those players were. Uh, caught doing steroids, <laughs> so I had like a ton of Barry Bonds cards, like a bunch of old ones uh-huh. before he was doing steroids. How <laughs> like Not before the head got really big anymore? Yeah, before that, yeah. It was uh yeah because when I collect, I collected baseball. Like my, I inherited a bunch of baseball mm-hmm. cards, but then I collected some. I really got more into football cards. That was what I was yeah. into. I'm, I have books on books of just like. It was an alphabetical order of team name, yeah. offense, quarterback, running back, fullback, wow. wide receivers, center, left guard, like left guard, yeah, like right guard, left tackle, like left tackle, left guard. It was like I don't that. Think I ever got into the punter football, kicker because I was the cards. I I just like the quarterbacks mostly, um, in the offensive. I I think I at one point I had a bunch of Denver Broncos cards. Mm. I was a fan, um, but. You had like a whole wall that had a bunch of cards. You don't you have a picture of you? I had a jerseys. Mm, it had jerseys. jerseys. It had like an Ed McCaffrey and a Trail Davis, an old Trail Davis that Corey gave me. For some reason he gave it to me. He used to have a bunch of jerseys. He had like a Trail Davis jersey when they were the like the orange instead mm-hmm. of the, when they before they changed. And like a Barry Sanders jersey, all this shit like from like ninety four. Um but my baseball cards were organized based on whether they were going to be in the Hall of Fame or were in the Hall of Fame. So the Hall of Famers were first. The people who I thought were going to be in the Hall of Fame were second. And then the people who were like still playing and more than likely maybe were after that. Mm. I was into, into that shit when I was like 10. Damn. Which is weird. Isn't it weird that the weird things we... It's still cool as hell. I'm it's, still yeah. super interested in it. So. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's still interesting. There must have been something there for me. Yeah, it's just so but, it's that I would spend my money and I'd get these cards and I'd start yeah. looking through. I'm like, fuck yeah! You then you do, look on the back of them and read yeah. the stats and I loved that. Yeah, love. That's why I like the baseball cards. Mm-hmm. If they didn't have stats on them, I was pissed because some of them just they have like their life yeah. story on it. I don't give a fuck. Great. Awesome. I don't care. Did you have like the? <laughs> did you ever get the ones with the gum in it? Uh we so my uncle gave us for Christmas one year. He had a but he had a few uh, um, booster packs of them from like 84 uh-huh. that had gum in them and we chewed the gum and it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing that it was still, I, you know, baseball card gum is awful. It's horrible. It's the worst. Well, gum. It was worse when it was 20 years later, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been those cards for so long. Uh, no, I don't think I've had any fresh baseball gum. <laughs> from baseball card gum. <laughs> I don't think life. it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a, like there's a health hazard for it. Like the the FDA really cracked down on them. <laughs> they probably did. Like it probably was like, you know, these sit in closets for years. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you have to call poison control to yeah. swallow this. Even the spit that you swallow is poisonous. <laughs> this is concrete. <laughs> You're chewing on dust. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Baseball school as hell. Um. <laughs> Baseball school as hell. I love it. It's so cool. So, uh, any anything interesting or fun happened this week? I guess that was your thing. This yeah. So we went, uh, saw the parents, found out my brother got out of jail. I get or he's getting did out of jail. Oh, was he at Thanksgiving or do? Oh, Wait, we didn't go. Didn't have no. Thanksgiving. We they did. They had um, on my mom's side. All the bucklers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess Mason had another kid with Tara Comer. <laughs> what? In their big Trumpers, which is great. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I've forgotten about that she, he was with her because she. I'd seen her a couple years ago at one of those. You're related to Comer now? No. <laughs> I mean, by, bir- by, by birth. By, by marriage. By birth, yeah. Probably by birth. Who fucking knows, man? We're related to everybody in that town. So watch out, Mason. Uh, you're probably fucking your cousin, but, um, yeah, they had a kid and, um, she deleted me off Facebook years ago cause she thought it was a pothead. I'm not, <laughs> um, <laughs> so huge whenever, I He's a huge her, fucking whenever I see her at like family shit, I just, I don't talk to them. I talk to Mason, I guess a little bit, but I have no interest in that woman at all. I don't care if she's the mother of my new cousin <laughs> or whatever. Is that a second cousin? If it's a, for your first cousin's kid. 
I guess so. I think second. That makes sense, right? Yeah, that makes that makes sense to me. He's got an older daughter who's like my one of my nephews' ages. She's like almost ten, I think, and she's pretty cool. Yeah. So your f- yeah. family, but that's you have not a big with ass Tara. family. It was with his first wife. He's fucked around a lot. Good for him. And Mason doesn't fuck around. But yeah, they had a thing in the I think in my uncle, my aunt and uncle's new place in um, Lansing or Leavenworth, wherever. And they're all big Trumpers too. And I was like, I'm I'm good. So at this point, I will, I'll engage in stuff. I'll be like. You guys are being pretty fucking stupid. Yeah. The election had already happened. And it had already been pretty clear. Do you, do you see, like, was it yeah, today? Yeah, Barr, Barr said that uh, they didn't find anything. Yeah. The attorney general. So <laughs> the same people who. The guy who loves Trump said they didn't find anything. Yeah. You know, four years ago, they searched and didn't find anything. And they yeah. searched this year and didn't find Crazy. anything. So. Is it safe to say we have a new president? We, we've had one, uh, yeah, <laughs> for almost a month. <laughs> First heart flying. It's crazy like, that like after as soon as it, it, he got called, you know, Biden won, um, and then a couple days after that, people were like, "Oh, well, Trump's not gonna fucking do anything," and then it just like left. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, this is yeah, this is great, awesome. Nobody, mm-hmm. nobody has to pay attention to this fucking psycho. Cool." I and know. then Biden like barely ever does anything on Twitter. Who awesome, great, <laughs> brilliant, perfect. Breaks his foot playing with his dog. Adorable, beautiful. Really? Yeah. See, that's the thing. You don't even know about it. That's how great it is. It does not a big deal. That's how it should be. It's how it should be. <laughs> He's a fucking person, not a goddamn TV show. Yeah, I'm pretty. I don't give a fuck if Biden's just gonna be a boring ass like moderate president. I'm fine with that. Perfect. Let's do it. And I know that's like selfish of me because there's a lot of people who need a president who uh, is more progressive. Also, I need health care. So I, that would be do it, Biden. Give me free health care. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I will be OK with a very boring president for as long as he wants to go. OK, I, 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 I think it would be tough for him to go two terms, though. Is it oh, be like 82? Yeah, he's going to be dead. <sighs> Sad. Kamala. 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 Should yes. be our first female vice president, first female president. president. Yeah, probably. Power to her. Go. And I don't be, care. Like, eh. I, lo- I like the fact that it's a brown person, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm like, that's awesome. She's that's a, a, that's a half win Indian, for us. right? Mm-hmm. And She's half, half black, Indian. half Indian or Yeah, something? I believe so. Indian from India. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to, and it's, because, you know, Christopher Columbus kind of fucked that up. It's yeah, like, he we're was, not you really Indians. went in head first with that one. Yeah. <laughs> we're no, India. you're Indians. <laughs> but this isn't India. This is there aren't any of the spices you were looking for, <laughs> you idiot. And then he was like, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> first I'm gonna chop your feet off, your hands off, but give me all that gold. God. <laughs> He's a bad dude. He did do that. That was awful. He did that more yeah. to my people, more than Mayans. That's right. The Mayan yeah. Indians. He didn't he yeah, he docked in like Nassau or something in the Bahamas. First, mm-hmm. then laid waste to that place, and then went to the next one. He's like, yeah. "Well, this isn't India either." And then well, I'm just gonna kill everybody. It's really funny. So we have Honduras mm-hmm. has a guy named Lumpa. He's a he's an Indian. Mm-hmm. He was like the chief, like he was a head chief that brought all eight tribes together of Honduras at the time. It was like in the fifteen hundreds. Yeah. So we were just like nomadic, yeah. just jungle people. It was insane. And but he brought us all together. Because Spain was coming to invade us. Oh, and they like knew. What yeah, they did. and so what they did was <laughs> they they brought they brought all the people up into the mountains, uh, and they would go down at nighttime and just slaughter cool. all the Spaniards. That's great. And it took there was like ten different generals that had to come in. Yeah. Like Spain was furious because they're like, <laughs> why in the fuck can you guys not kill these fucking nomadic Indians? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you guys? And we would just go down and we just slow, just fucking slice their throats, yep. fucking just embowel them. We fucked them up. So, they uh, eventually had this. That's tenth- why you're so good with a knife. Yeah, Those exactly. That's exactly why I'm so really good with a knife because yeah. it's just ancestry. I'm like I'm from the the direct line of yeah. Lumpa. Wow. Just, you can just tell by just looking at me, right? I can. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> <laughs> you look like you want to kill a white person right now. And I I'm do. The only one. <laughs> uh, but so they had a general come in from Spain, 
And what he did was he told Lumpa, he's like, Lumpa, can you please come down? Yeah. Bring your, your top three, like, generals or your right-hand guys and come down. And so this is where the legend goes one way, like Honduras, and then it goes Spain the other way. So because it's, Sp- it's in the Spanish history books, it's in the Honduras history yeah. books. But in the Honduran history books, what happened was that they killed him. They shot him in the back when Lupa? he came down. Lumpa. And then they ate him in front of his people, like in front of his three generals. <laughs> yeah. But the Spaniards say they just killed him. But the Spaniards yeah. don't disagree. Like, no, we did kill him. Yeah. But we just didn't eat him. <laughs> I do like that cannibalism is sometimes added as an insult to yeah. uh, <laughs> make a civilized uh, people look not as civilized. Like, it's not civilized to go uh, kill a bunch of people well. just because you want their. But it took, but House. he now, he, but he's like a huge national monument. Really, he's like our George Washington cool. kind of thing, or Custard, because Custard, Custard died like at the. Guy. I know, but Custard was the one who died at the Last Stand or something. I don't like that. know if he's seen as like a hero though. Oh, is he? Okay, well, I guess more because I think he's George seen, Washington. See, yeah, I think George Washington. I think the reason we hear so much about Custer is because he blew it. Oh, okay. Like that he makes fucked sense. up. And, and then, like, got his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of like, oh, fuck. And then they Shit. surrounded him. He's like, oh, okay. Well, I earned it, you know? You're right. He's just like, yeah, oh, fuck. But, yeah, yeah, it's like. We you should know, just do a different podcast, like, and just do, like, <laughs> annotated, like, bad history. It's just us, like, kind of, like, having to spark notes a little bit of stuff and then making the rest up. I think that's a great idea, honestly. That's more fun. That sounds like And then just have a disclaimer at the beginning, like, this isn't real, probably. Probably none of this is right. (laughs) Probably not real is a good name for it. (laughs) Probably not real. (laughs) Probably didn't happen. (laughs) But. (laughs) If it did. (laughs) I think that's a cool idea. I think that's, yeah. Just read like uh, the the first paragraph of every Wikipedia article. Right. (laughs) And then go from there, make it up. (laughs) <laughs> but okay so I'm trying to think of like what now like what ones i could do so the japanese uh bombed pearl harbor right um now we're not gonna be able to do this <laughs> 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 fuck <laughs> such a good idea there's nothing there <laughs> So, Aaron, you know there's some history that happened this past week. Hit me. Hit me with it. So, there was a kicker from Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. You know this girl's 6'2"? Really? She's she's tall. She's so tall. Uh, The first female kicker in an NCAA football game. In general. In a top five or a big five, right? Yes. I think there's been feet like... Women playing football for like smaller schools, like kicking or something. Well, I know there's some girl that got like a Division two scholarship. Mm. Yeah, I uh, I heard about that, and then saw the kick she did, and it was a squib kick. I would have liked to see uh, them not tell her to do a squib kick and just see how far. Yeah, she can I would like to see it. how far because she's six two, so she has a leg. Well, I mean, she's a soccer player. <laughs> yeah, she'd probably fucking knock the shit out of the thing. <laughs> You hear all the time, like those soccer players or rugby players coming in just because they can kick or run. Mm-hmm. Football's really not like this nuanced sport. No, not terribly. There's, I mean, when once you get like to the higher level, sure, and that's why she had to do a fucking squib kick instead of an actual right kick. Kicking kicking off is so fucking lame. You think so? Why? Because every time it's a touchback in the NFL. Now. Every single time. <laughs> every fucking time. They moved it up, what, 10 yards a few years ago? Yeah. Why? It's a fucking long field goal now. It sucks. It's a bummer. And then whenever somebody actually takes it out, you're like, what? <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> they got 15 yards? That was a bad play on their part. But that was, was cool. I, that's what those are, those, are, those look like. Yeah, because if you just would not touch, you got at 25. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they put it to the 25, too, instead of the 20, like it yeah. used to be. Man, I don't like that shit at all. I think it's kind of silly. But also, if you're going to fucking do that with kickoff, just take them away. That's, yeah, it's getting kind of Let them start at the 25. Who cares? Yeah. Just At that point, it's just adding more time to the game that's already too long. Mm-hmm. But like their whole idea, though, with that is like, well, there's players who get their start. Like, yeah. you want to get, like, Hill you from, like, the... You don't want to ruin a special team. Yeah. Because a lot of spell teams players become like a star wide receiver. But what or, do they think about that shit too? They're like, oh great, we got to line up for another touchback. Yeah, like, oh. cool. Nobody's getting a Pro Bowl or a fucking bonus because they barely touch somebody running towards the ball that's already out of the stadium. 
They kick it over the fucking uprights like almost every time. That's true. It's crazy. It does. <laughs> it's so stupid. Football sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just mad because your your team didn't have? Look, I don't have a team. <laughs> you're the you're you're but you're a Broncos fan. Not really, not as much as I used to be. Um, they had no quarterbacks though. They didn't have a quarterback because all their quarterbacks had like COVID. to hang out with each other <laughs> and lick each other and like they that. like to lick each other's tongues, give each other butterfly kisses, which is cool. Do whatever you want, yeah, but do don't do want. it in a pandemic. Please don't. When you're meant to, four quarterbacks. <laughs> they it's bad enough that they had to have four quarterbacks on the roster anyway. It was yeah, because hold on, let me I have it here of how it happened within like two days. Yeah, it happened within Yeah, like seventy two hours. Weren't they supposed to stay in like a place like the NBA did? Okay, so this is from uh, Ed uh, Schefter. Uh, here's how Denver got wrapped out of the how got wiped out of quarterback positions for in 72 hours span. Quarterback Jeff Driscoll tested positive for COVID on Thursday. Drew Locke, Brett, and Blake Bortles did not wear masks. <laughs> per per a source, and uh, were deemed high risk close contact today. <laughs> now they're out for Sunday. So they, the other three didn't necessarily test positive. But no, but they, they because they were around Jeff, someone Jeff who not wearing a mask. We're not wearing masks right now. You could have it. I could have it, but we're not professional football players. Yeah. <laughs> and then Two they had to get a practice podcasters. squad wide receiver to play quarterback. But we're like six feet apart. No, we're not. We're like four. And a half. <laughs> okay, round up. We're five feet apart. That's close. That's pretty good. The five, five is close to six. <laughs> yeah, five is close to six. If you're rounding it up to the nearest six, we're six feet apart. We're six feet apart. That's what we're. That's, that's so what they, they had say. to get a receiver from the practice squad who hadn't played at quarterback since college at mm-hmm. Wake Forest, which is never a good football school anyway. Right. Um. S- ACC. Yeah. ACC school. Yeah. For what it's worth. Uh. He was a state champion quarterback in high school. Okay. And, you know, played for a power five school. Mm-hmm. That's how hard playing quarterback in the NFL is. He was one for nine. One two for interceptions. Nine. That's Tim Tebow numbers. That's, yeah, that is Tim, Tim Tebow, Tebow numbers. Tim Tebow, uh, this other guy whose name I can't remember, uh, had one up on Tim Tebow because Tim Tebow had been playing quarterback <laughs> forever. He wasn't taking reps at wide receiver on the practice squad for a year like this guy was. One game, Tim Tebow was like two for 16 for like 25 yards. Right. <laughs> it was so funny to watch that guy try to be a quarterback. Hey, John Elway, go sign Colin Kaepernick, you fucking idiot. He's right there all the time. Great. So, Aaron. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Every you know how I, every every once in a while I'll send you videos uh-huh. or links to stuff and I'm yeah. like hey you should check this out, yep. And you know they're every you know flew in a you know f- rare sometimes in <laughs> what <laughs> blue moon it's like rare oh what, once in a blue moon once in a blue moon yeah. yeah. But there's this the one <laughs> that I just recently <laughs> sent you. Yeah. And you're I like nope. Watch. Yeah, you saw the headline of it. <laughs> so there's this woman who gives birth to a baby. Yeah. I can't show this video wise, so you just have to look it up because <laughs> we will get flagged. Uh, she's giving birth to a baby standing up <laughs> from behind. Why didn't they go? By, uh. <laughs> this better work, John. <laughs> he got taken off. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Woo. Good thing I made that complaint two weeks ago. Yeah, Aaron made a complaint. He's like, <laughs> so it got taken off, so I can't show it. Well, so you've watched the video. Describe it. Well, she's just standing up and yeah. she just pushes out a baby. Mm-hmm. It wasn't of, even hers. No, it wasn't her baby. It was just a baby. <laughs> it was crazy. They put, they literally put a baby, legs, foot, like legs Leg first. first, yeah. <laughs> inside of her. And it <laughs> sat what in it there. It looks like if you play that yeah. video backwards. Whoa, baby's going back. <laughs> and then, like, she just pushes it out. 
It was crazy. And then it drops on its head or yeah. somebody catches it. No, she caught it. Oh. Yeah, like that? She did. I <laughs> like swear to God. dribbling a basketball? That's yeah. funny. <laughs> the thing that fucking freaked me out about that video is they shot it from behind instead of showing like her, her front. I don't know why that bothers me, but there's something. I've never seen a woman giving birth from behind. Want it in the parking lot? What? It was like women gives birth in oh, parking you, lot. Your your fucking YouTube suggestions are gonna be wrecked. Uh, I can't find it. I'm not gonna waste my time. I think you described it pretty well. I think the the best part for me, and I can imagine what it was. I got a pretty basic idea. Um, seeing the still from it, uh, her catching it, cradling it under her vagina is pretty funny to me. So I thank you for that. Yeah. Cringy TikToks? I have just one for you. I'm recording a video. (laughs) What's your girlfriend there? What's your girlfriend doing? (laughs) Do you ever get girls sending you weird videos like that? Have you ever had? <laughs> oh God! No, 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 Yeah, we don't want to watch anything. Like that. Sorry. Good Lord. No, I've never gotten women sending me stupid videos um, because I don't. Um, I don't project that I would be okay with a video like that. Like you do. North Kansas City Gym, is that yours? Might be. Okay, so we're doing uh misconnections again. This is a this is a if you've been with us since uh, the inception of well, I don't think we did it from the beginning, but we the Beer and Friendship show we used to do misconnections on Craigslist. And because uh, they're funny. I think they're hilarious. They're yeah. stupid as hell. Yeah. The chances it's a it's a drop of water in the ocean. But honestly. we do try to help like maybe we're hoping that maybe somebody. We are, uh, yeah. We're the chain. We're the chain and the link, mm-hmm. or something. Link in the chain. Chain. We're a chain in the chain. We're a chain. We're, we're part of a chain. Part. We're a chain wrapped around a chain. We're a chain wrapped around a riddle. Yeah, I'll do. It. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Sounds good. Uh, mm. So you want to do the first one? Yeah, I'll read it. Um, this one is. Uh, so we're doing misconnections in Kansas City. Uh-huh. This one's called uh, North Kansas City Gym. I'm glad they spelled gym. Like a well, they didn't spell it like like a gymnasium. That's how you spell it. Not like gym, a, like J I M. Like oh, you're just the guy in, named Jim in North yeah, Kansas City. Sure. You were the beautiful girl who smiled at me several times in the North Kansas City YMCA. Let's get together sometime. If that's you. Then please respond to this stranger's <laughs> thing. <laughs> Girlfriends. My Northland friend missing the fun. Walnut on East Santa Fe Street. Gardner, Kansas. Go go to Looking Girlfriends. For... What's Girlfriends say down there? Down there. Girlfriends Lee Summit. <clears throat> okay, so Girlfriends Lee Summit. <laughs> African-American woman looking for... An African American woman over thirty five wanting to explore oral conversations with each other. Let's talk. <laughs> oral conversations. I like that. Let's that might talk. Be. Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> what a weird thing to call it. Oral you want <laughs> Can you just talk into my pussy? Yeah, that's like a hour? double positive, isn't it? Like you're like <laughs> conversation. You understand you're gonna be using your mouth. And then you're she like, closed it out with "Let's talk." So I don't think she wants to just talk. I think she wants to do more than that. Long lost friend to the girl named Jean who worked at BP. Phone, Phone in, pocket. in pocket. Yeah. Phone in pocket. Nolan Forty area. You made me look six times in the same aisle. <laughs> Creep. Good <laughs> Lord. Your phone is lucky, lady. <laughs> What's that mean? We chatted at the register line, and you walked in your car 
as I watch the phone bounce back there. Anyone else enjoy ladies' phones in back pocket? So he's looking, not only is he looking for this woman, he's also looking for other weird perverts <laughs> that like to watch <laughs> phones <laughs> bouncing in <laughs> women's back pockets. These are fucking Whenever awesome. I see a phone in the, uh, the back pocket of a woman's jeans, I kind of lose my mind because I'm like, she's got to sit on that. Yeah, or I, I'm always afraid they're going to lose it. It's going to fall that out That too, of it's pocket. always half out. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Yeah, it annoys the hell out of me. It bothers me an awful lot. <sighs> you know what bothers me too? What? When people break down boxes, but they don't leave like the biggest box, so you can put all the smaller boxes inside that. On the bottom! Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. See, I thought you were saying all the boxes are broken down. The biggest box holds all the broken no, down boxes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, right. Yeah. 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 That annoys me when people don't do that. I hate when women with phones in their back pockets do that too. Me too. Honestly, John, I hate women. Nah, I'm good. Uh, looking for that cutie who can cure headaches very good. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is just in Kansas City, so it could be literally anybody. I would love to get rid of all my aches. You don't have to be some professional with deep, rough techniques. But if you got some head doctor skill <laughs> to relieve my headaches, I would give anything in the world for that amazing cure. Send in few pictures if you are serious. No pics, no reply. Must be real. <laughs> Keep it real. <laughs> this guy's serious. He's got a that's lot of headaches. Great. That's, that's, that's some good shit. <laughs> uh, no man looking for... E no. I don't know what an SB type. Uh, Submissive. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Sexy butt type. Missing my younger women. Cop that stopped me. Oh, God. Cop that stopped me, Miriam, Kansas. <laughs> to the very good-looking and very sweet cop that stopped me, I would love to get together sometime. You stopped me on SM for not stopping at a stop sign long enough. LOL. We have the same name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you like other guys, but I got to try. <laughs> Fucking goddamn... A cab, fucking turd ass. <laughs> Look at this guy just selling out for some some dick. The cowboy. Ooh, I like a good vague title. The cowboy in Centerview. Where the fuck is Centerview? I have no clue. Never heard of Centerview. No clue. If you're the cowboy in Centerview, six days ago. Call us and tell us where Centerview is. Not sure how I missed you. We both like country music, country roads. Hiking in the woods, hunting, shooting, bonfires, four-wheeling, and having a cold one listening to the night noises. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> My phone was not on anything at all. <laughs> My Google thing. Oh, I think I said something and it sounded like, okay, Google. Oh. Because it just turned on. Stop it. Yeah. You stupid idiot. <clears throat> <clears throat> What, having I'll a start cool over. one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Start the Cowboy, over Center View. Not sure how I missed you. We both like country music, country roads, hiking in the woods, hunting. I, if I start over, it's just going to get this thing going again. Shooting, bonfires, four wheeling. <laughs> Cold one. Listening to the night noises out in the middle of nowhere. Where are you? Where are you, Cowboy from Center View? That person just named every trope from a basic country song. Missing my man skills? Misusing my man skills. Oh, feeling emasculated. I miss using my man skills, Overland Park. Like the little guys, I miss using my man skills, helping another man out with his needs and relaxation. Oh, like the title says, I thought that said, like the little guys. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> That's why I was like, okay, that's cool. Woo! Add on to it. <laughs> that Google thing on my phone really threw me off. <laughs> Looking for no Anyone lost there? CD connection. Anyone want to watch the game and see what happens? Ugh. <laughs> uh, Looking for a guy to get to know. Gladstone Walmart the other night. <clears throat> All right, this will be the last one. Yeah, this is Gladstone Walmart the other night, Gladstone, Missouri. You came up to me last night in the frozen section at Walmart and asked about the boots. In the frozen section? I really enjoyed talking to you. Would like to chat more. 
Your name starts with a J. Tell me what the rest of it is. This is me. Yeah. <laughs> and what else we talked about? So I know it's you. What did you guys talk about? I don't remember. I was so Frozen high. Frozen peace. Yeah. I'm super stone, man. <laughs> You're like, what are boots? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, fucking no, dude. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you seem like a good boots. guy. Yeah. I wish I would have asked for your number. Jay? Could have been me. You uh, you go to that Gladstone Walmart? No, I don't. <laughs> I used to live across the street from it. It's a pretty <laughs> crazy place. Is it? Is it a pretty crazy one? No, it's, I mean, it's a fucking Walmart in a suburb, like... In the Northland, it could be better. <laughs> it could be a lot better. <laughs> it's, it's next to a high V, so like the people who can't afford to go to high V go to Walmart. So that weeds out all the good people that not the good people, but the you know the people that don't look like fucking my ancestors. Right. Uh, they go to Walmart. They go to Walmart. Okay. So you got to go back to that Walmart. I do. Meet the person in the frozen aisle and talk about boot. Oh, I keep meaning though. I wanted to bring this up with you. So, have you heard of this sort of porn? It's just. I'll, the, I'll it's first. Just, just I'll, the video of the woman giving birth again. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll show you the the type of por- like I'll show you like the definition of this porn, and then okay. I'll we'll show you de- like examples of it. Flogging. Is that what it is? No. no. Have you heard of this? Plast. Plast. Pussy legs, ass, smile, toenails, and tits in one single pose. No, I've never heard of that. You never heard of this? No. This sound does this intrigue you at all? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I mean if if a woman is posing like a full body picture, then yeah, they're all well, I guess they all wouldn't necessarily they'd have to be Ass it makes you up. think, how would they shoot all this? How would they be able to get all this in one well, shot? They have to be ass up or bending over while they're standing up because yeah. their pussy has to show with the butt. But then, how are you going to... So the toenails, get the toenails. Have, to, have to be closed in, <laughs> like touching like a triangle. And the tits, that's... Uh, oh. She's got to be bent over with her boobs... Makes you think, doesn't it? Would you like to see some examples of it? And how are they going to see a smile? These all these these women are am, are ambidextrous are uh, contorted. Uh okay. I hadn't thought about that one. The front shot. Yeah. Like yeah, that this seems to be the shot. Okay. See? Just a little bit of the mouth, pussy, toenails. Isn't it weird? There's guys that get off on this. There's guys I mean, that it is off now on. to me. <laughs> <laughs> this just looks like vi- like pictures of women. Yeah, this is like just <laughs> pictures of women. Hi. This is really going back to, to some old school shit. We used I to know, do. right? <laughs> Right, and then the thing is, what's so Do crazy Craig's about it? Then get on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> is the fact that they're smiling, so it makes it seem like it's okay. I guess the only weird part about it is that, like, they're they're purposefully putting their toes in the shot. Because I'm not like into feet, so yeah, I'm not. You're not into feet. No, I'm not into feet either. I don't like feet. I don't have anything again. I I like feet <laughs> to have. But I'm not gonna fuck a foot or two. You guess you have to fuck two feet. The yeah. toenails one. I feel like that they just added the toenails one in there as more of like a challenge. Yeah, let's see if you can get this. It seems like this. more of a, just a it's challenge like a, like for a, a woman, twi- like a twister challenge. Yeah. Where'd you find that one? I heard on a podcast, and so I was like, "Plast." Yeah, plast. Did they pronounce the second T? Plast. 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 Plast city. It's weird, isn't it? Pussy. It's different. It's different. Legs, ass, tits, smile. Yeah, smile. Toenails, tits. tits. Toenails. All right, got something new to tell my nephew. <laughs> I'm coming, bud. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Open your ears. <laughs> Come I would never tell my Come nephew about partner. interesting, cool sex things. That's weird. I tell him about the ones, the sex things that aren't cool or interesting. Like missionary so, yeah you know how like 
was it a couple weeks ago they found that thing in Utah? The monolith. Yeah, yeah. you know, there's a new one. They found another one. They found it in Romania. Yeah, it mo- and the one in Utah moved. It's gone. Yeah. What do you think? What do you this? think happened? I think this is a whole hoax. I think people are fucking with people. Yeah, me too. I think this is all like this is like some dark web thing that they're all synced. <laughs> That'd be funny. I think it's some like 4chan prank. 4chan. Yeah. yeah that's um I do like the mystery of it. I like the mystery. There's a lot of these things like not like as big as that, but there's like uh um tiles. Mm-hmm. Like different looking tiles but they all have like a similar design or something on them or they all have like uh words on them that kind of go together with the other ones but they uh-huh. they're all over um the world at some like at some point really? people would, it was like a scavenger hunt basically hmm. um sometimes i think about like because europe is just a bunch of countries but it's really not that big no so it's not like crazy to think that somebody it's kind of weird like it's it's obviously probably not the same monolith from uh Utah. Mhm. Um but it could be. I mean it really doesn't if it's just like some rich people that are just fucking around it doesn't take that much to ship something like that. It takes a day. It'll get there in a day. Yeah. And Rome fly it to Amsterdam and then fly to or drive <laughs> to Romania. E- even with COVID? Even with COVID it's probably easier. You're right. Probably might be easier. Yeah, I hope it's aliens. I hope it's something more interesting than we're just a hoax, like we're just getting played around with. Do you believe, you believe in aliens, right? Yeah. I, yeah. It's not that you believe in aliens. It's right. that you understand that they exist. They ex- yeah. I don't think there's anything not to believe about them. You know, there's a new theory that, like, the sun's flat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool <laughs> <laughs> so stupid like a hot frisbee yeah it's like under it sits underneath everything yeah yeah what did they the flat earthers think the sun is i don't know what the flat earth like a truman show kind of thing like a big light it is a big light but like a fake light where do they think god lives in the earth if you're a flat earther um tell us all we need to know cuz it's funny and i'm interested fighting flat earth okay so yeah the we all know so that's what i like that i like that drawing because like the water just falls into space yeah <laughs> <laughs> just like water I mean, there falls is, like ice in space like on asteroids and right. stuff but yeah it's not just like <laughs> There's no way that works. That would be cool as hell, though. That it would be like awesome. A board game, yeah. In space, yeah. That, it would be cool, but that's not how it works. No, of course not. <laughs> Obviously, I love the idea of all this stuff being true, though. I think that's why people people love the idea of living in a different world. Yeah, it's an escapism kind of thing. But they don't have to escape anywhere if they just make it up like like this shit. Hurricane. <laughs> they're flat too. They're flat too. Look at the picture. It's flat. <laughs> so it's so from the moon the is probably fake. Yeah, I might be. Yeah, I imagine. How do they explain like the oceans moving with the tides? That's the moon. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're we're gonna start two different podcasts. Okay, one two where we ones. talk about history, history. and make a bunch and most of it up. And then one where we talk about conspiracy theories, and then it's going to sound like we're making shit up. But it's all but true. But it's all an actual conspiracy And that's the one theory. that we'll actually do the research on. Yeah, yeah. But the, <laughs> yeah. the real historical <laughs> belief. Just the the spark notes, just yeah. real quick little shit mm-hmm. on that. Yeah. I so you can, read like a fir- you can read like the first two sentences mm-hmm. of like the history thing, uh, the whole middle, like a, like a paragraph in the yep. middle, and then... Just like four the sentences end. in the end. Yeah. Honestly, make up the end. <laughs> then you just have to tell a whole story of Down, like what yeah. you think the history part of it is, and then, and then the end of it, we were we tell you yeah. like what the actual thing is. <laughs> See how close I was. That's yeah. a good idea. That actually is a pretty <laughs> hey! good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming together. <laughs> we do. Yeah, we have like a comedian come on. Yeah. 
and we tell them it's like it's kind of like drunk history yeah but like instead of just having them like do their research or read off whatever i don't think i think they're too drunk to read a script but like they remember what they looked at and then they just have to talk about it instead of that we give them like three like key points Mm -hmm. of like what happened in the historical historical event and then you have to pick if like the the third (laughs) fact is like at the beginning (laughs) the middle or the end that's a good idea yeah, we're gonna do something like that. That sounds fun. That she's not a bad idea. More she's stuff. A- <laughs> content, baby. Content, content, content. Always be creating. Yeah. That- a B C. Maybe at first we should do it with you and I. Like yeah, you'll you'll yeah. do a research I one, do it. and I'll do a research yeah. one, and then like I give you like a couple sentences mm-hmm. and stuff, and then you Let's give me it. a couple sentences, and we have to. Yeah, I'm down. We're gonna do that. Oh, dude, you. What would you do? What would you pick? Like, I have no, no idea. You'd know, no idea. I think I would just hit random on Wikipedia and then just like go with the first thing that seemed like a kind of like an actual article instead of just like you know some mm-hmm. random short thing about you know, TikTok. Like, this something. could be real. Like that's. The, I think so. Yeah, like, that's a good idea. This could be name. real. Yeah, this could be. Like, this could be real. <clears throat> We're doing it. More stuff. I hate my handwriting. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> the top part's not mine. I spelled probably wrong. English is your second language. You're fine. This, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. Prob- probably. Probably. <laughs> that's <what I laughs> probably. Said. That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's even better. You. But oral oral conversations correctly spelled. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it was on the TV. Though. Yeah. <laughs> this could be real. You're all right. Yeah, this I, could be real. I think we have a we have a great idea for a another thing. Well, <laughs> we have like 57 <laughs> minutes. We hey! have, we've done like 57 minutes. You just want to do your plugs and we'll sure. bounce yeah. out. Uh, go to um my. Instagram, <laughs> uh, it's at I am Aaron Naylor. Twitter, same thing. Uh, I have two other podcasts, soon to be more probably. Uh, one is called the Cool Baby Podcast with Dayton Bissett. Uh, you can find the links. I have a link tree thing on my fucking. Do Instagram you think that's useful? Facebook. I think it's nice, yeah. Because now I have like multiple podcasts. I got it, and I True. couldn't just put all the links in the same bio. Yeah, you can't do so, it. So because I wanted to keep, you know. Them, them all so now they're all just all in one thing right it's great um so go to that link tree uh my thing on that is i am aaron Naylor. i don't know if i put it together today so i don't even know if they have like a, an at or anything but it's um, your bio because i've already <laughs> clicked on i clicked yeah on it. it's a, in the bio yeah it's in the bio of all my stuff um yeah oh bitch bitching through time is a new daily podcast that i'm doing it comes out every morning, except for weekends. Hmm, makes sense. Don't fuck with weekends. Nobody goes to work on weekends. No. Fuck so that. So check that out. Fuck that. Yeah, John. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a, give it a thumbs up. That'd be really awesome. Follow me on all my social media. at John D. Clouser. It's literally the same thing as the, it's literally the same name as the name that you subscribe to on same this YouTube name channel. Every time. Uh, thank you guys for much for watching. Thanks for voting. Thank you for voting. Thanks for voting. Third party. Go Gary Johnson. Yes. Click. All right, right, guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.